What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the AndroidAppsReview.com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review. This time taking a look at an application called WebPC Suite that I have right here ready to go. This is a similar application to something like AirDroid, uh, though there's some notable differences between it and various other services, uh, Motorola Connect or something like that, I think is their Motorola version of this. Anyway, we're going to show you how it works, but first we have to sign in. Um, you obviously have to download the application onto your Android phone, <coughs> excuse me, which I have done, and then you simply go to webpcsuite.com. Uh, that's one way to do it. There are a couple other uh, web addresses that you can visit. You can go to your IP address, but we're not going to fool with any of that. Once you're here, you simply grab your phone and then scan the QR code inside the application, which I'm doing this second, and then you'll see the change. It is now instantly connected to my phone. One um, thing that's already apparent in comparison to something like AirDroid is that I'm using an older Sprint HTC phone, um, but it actually connected extremely quickly. That is a pretty huge difference between this application and something like AirDroid in that it it, it's just very, very quick. The application itself is also pretty small. I think it's just under two megabytes, which is a tiny application uh, in terms of what these things actually offer um, for any app, actually. Uh, just under two megs is pretty tiny. Um, and it seems pretty quick to match, too. So we'll go ahead and show you how this works. It's the same kind of functionality as you would expect with something like um, AirDroid or anything else in that field, though it is much more lightweight, and it mostly focuses on files. So here are all of my different files. I can simply go through... Um, find anything that I'm after. Let's say I'm after pictures, I can do that. If I want to delete a file, I know I can delete this one, for instance. Um, you can do that as well. Various other things. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. So if I wanted to check out, let's say I have a bunch of stuff on my phone, which I most certainly do, that I need to delete, I can go in here and find all of these things. Um, manage the files themselves. I can load them. I can delete them. So I want to delete this. I don't even know what that is. We're going to get rid of it. Um, I actually do need to clean out my phone. This makes it incredibly easy to do this, which I really appreciate. And notice how quick this is. That's not how quick other applications that we've used are. Other ones um, that we've tried, they tend to be a little bit slower. This one is unbelievably quick. Really, we're, we're pretty impressed with this. Um, I'm not going to mess with any of that. So that's the basic file management. And if you want to get rid of it, just tap here, and there it goes. As far as music goes, you can also play your media directly inside the browser. I'm using Chrome at the moment, but this can also be used with um, Safari, Internet Explorer, Opera, um, Firefox, any of the other standard kind of browsers that we typically deal with. It takes just a second to load. I have a lot of music. Once I'm here, very, very, very simple just to play any of these. Um, so I'm not actually going to do any of these because I don't think I have the rights to do that. I'm not sure how that works. But... Um, once you've pulled up your music, I'm going to load this up, actually, just to show you the extent to which it will pull up my music. Well, that's doing that. On the side here, you'll see some things as far as um, upload, clipboard, and browser. This is an interesting feature that we haven't really seen anywhere else. Um, you can actually upload files uh, directly to your Android or vice versa. So that's not so unstandard. You can also post things directly to your clipboard on your phone. So let's say that I want to type in HTTP colon slash slash test.com or something. Then I can hit this button. It'll go to my clipboard. Um, file has been successfully copied to Android clipboard. Extremely simple. And this happens a lot, actually. We need something on our phone. We don't have it there. We don't want to type it. Uh, it's more of a pain to do that than it is just to type on the computer and hit it. Or excuse me, hit enter and send it. Very quick. Very simple. Same thing here. If you want to open something directly in the browser, um, I could do that as well. I'm not going to because my phone's a little slow, but that is there. And again, you want to get rid of any of these windows, just do this, um, or you can make them bigger, standard sort of operating system look. Um, we'll talk more about the interface in just a second. But that's all there. And um, what else do I need to show you? So we've also got that. We've got videos. We've got gallery. Um, as you could expect, this all comes directly to my photos, which I can pull up any of these at any point in time. Um, so let's pull up the shot that I took the other day while doing another video review. Um, it will pull it up. It just has to load it. This does connect via Wi-Fi, so it's pretty quick as far as file transfers go, but there's only so much you can expect out of a Wi-Fi connection. Same thing once we're here. If I want to delete it, hit this. You can also share it. There's this share button down here, a play button. You can rotate your files. Um, a surprisingly large amount of features uh, for what amounts to a file editor, so very well done there, guys. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but there's an upload button here, too, that I can click, and then I can actually drag and drop files directly. Very quick, very simple. 
Again, everything has been super simplified. Everything has been knocked down to its most basic component. We like that a lot. Over here on the side, you've got the, um, the breakdown of what is going on with your phone. It shows me how much device storage is left. It shows me how much of that storage, uh, what makes up that storage that's been used. Um, we appreciate this a lot if you have a lot of uh, things on your phone and you're not sure what else to do with it. Um, this will give you a quick glimpse into it. At this point, it's pretty much all I have to show you as far as this application goes. It's a nifty one. It's very lightweight. We like the interface a lot, as you can tell. Um, it has a lot of resemblance to things like AirDroid, but then again, it's definitely it's, its own unique creature. Um, and outside of that, it is extremely lightweight. We're ex mm, very, very, very impressed with how quick this is, as well as how good it looks for a totally free application. There's no hitch to that. By the way, you can download this from the Google Play Store right now, and it's absolutely free. Um, no strings attached for an application that comes with that kind of guarantee. This looks a little too good. It's, it's extremely impressive what they've done with it. And uh, yeah, as mentioned, it's totally free. So if you wanted to jump on this bandwagon, now is a good time. And it won't cost you a dime to do that. At the end of the day, we are going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the AndroidAppsReview.com. And if you're looking for a very quick on its feet file management suite, for your Android device, one that connects with almost any browser and any computer setup, then this is easily the one to go with. That's all I have to say, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Bye.